Welcome back, you gorgeous and beautiful people from the internet. My name is Manzi Crypto. Today, we're actually going to talk more about Token Master. So the se previous season ended, and you can see over here, we got 16 Mobux uh, for the ranking. We got gold rank 97, which is awesome. And uh, we got some 210 mech rewards as well. So if we go in here... Uh, our adventure rewards is also 96, which is a lot more than 10 per day. It's roughly, if I have to take a rough guess, roughly about 14, 15 uh, per day-ish. Uh, roughly about there. And then we just got a gold rank. Unfortunately, no plunder rank, but I mean, you know, 16 mobox on profit each week. Uh, it will definitely add up over time. There are some people asking me, listen, dude, listen. <laughs> Are you, are you spending any Mobox to get this? No, I do not. I just do all my daily tasks every single day and uh, then use that task to actually level up my Momos and, uh, and get their skills up there. It is the best way to do this. Uh, if you know what you're doing, uh, then you could just uh, literally ride the wave of playing for free. Uh, obviously, not every week I get ranked, uh, but the thing is that all these rewards will add up eventually uh, over time in becoming a pretty substantial amount. And that is if I don't spend any of the Mobox. Now, I do spend Mobox on Block Brawler. Unfortunately, you do have to uh, if you want to stake your Momos, uh, you know, as quickly as possible. Uh, but over time, I feel like this is the only strategy that will work. Uh, if you would like to, you know, take care of your future um, when it comes to Mobox. Uh, let's just get level 1 ability so we are at least a little bit stronger. Now do keep in mind that I did not claim my gold. And the reason being is because you're going to fight against stronger people if you do claim your gold. So you want to claim your gold pretty much the last thing you do. Uh, so let's see, I can reroll this one, that's blue already. Uh, we could also claim another one, which is three, uh, which will then give me this guy. We'll reroll that and we will get this ability and then we'll keep on playing. So that's pretty much what I do. I try and get three gold abilities on the very first one on my three Momos. Uh, if it doesn't trigger, then it's fine as long as it's not white. Uh, because it is by far the strongest ability out of your whole kit in your in your whole Momo uh, lineup, right? So you want the first ability on everyone as quickly as possible. And then also, after you're done playing your game, uh, just make sure that you do claim the gold because you do want people to plunder you. Um, you do want people to plunder you because you see now everyone has rerolled at least once. Uh, so I'll just keep on re-rolling. We got our first gold here. 320% attack with the lowest health and increased damage taken by 20%. So we got our first gold ability, which is awesome. And now you can just keep on doing that with the other Momos also. And then, yeah, like you just want all three first abilities to be uh, gold as quickly as possible. Now, it is luck-based, so not every week I get all my abilities gold. So just keep that in mind. It doesn't happen every week. Um, but um, you don't necessarily have to have everything gold in order to rank. Uh, you just have to be a little bit... Um, a little bit lucky with the abilities you get, pretty much. And uh, just make sure that you set your lineup towards... Um, Okay, that's a white one. We need to reroll that as soon as possible. Uh, but yeah, so you just have to make sure that you read your abilities and then just set your lineup according to what is the best outcome that you can get. Uh, for example, if if the guy that is on the third position uh, has healing when getting attacked, it might be better to put him first. Uh, you know, so just read your abilities and. Trust me, when it all comes down to is your final day, uh, it's like anything up until that point doesn't really matter because you don't get rewarded for being higher, um, uh, having higher gold and stuff like that. So the final day is all what it comes down to. So 
Like, if you really want to min-max everything you do, uh, you could possibly uh, unbind or put on pretty, like, weak and uh, Momos over here, and then the final day, just put up your, your strongest lineup. Uh, if you want to min-max, I, I don't really want to min-max. I just want to click on Plunder like this. Oh, man, I can't challenge him again. Um, I just want to click on Plunder like this and just get it over with, pretty much. And that's pretty much what I do. So, you can see over here that I need to claim my gold right now. Uh, then I can get two. Then I can reroll once more. So I'm going to just do that. Claim my gold. Claim the books. Right? Then we can reroll once more. Then we're going to get six books right there. So I'm going to just do that. We need to reroll this one as soon as possible because it's white. So they got six more books there. And now I could just like... Put one more here. That's white again. We don't want white. There we go. And we got our second uh, yellow ability. It's going to heal two Momos with the lowest health for 240 of attack. And increase your Momos critical strike by 20%. So that's pretty good. So we have a heal ability already. And I'm pretty scared to reroll this one. Uh, Rerolling is pretty much done. The quest is done. Uh, and this one is purple. If I reroll right now and it's white, then I just shot, uh, shot myself in the foot. So the better thing to do is to just like throw in some books over here. And we have 2% uh, life steal and then 2% crit strike, which is already a lot better than, uh, than not having these abilities at all. So now we are stronger and I'm going to check if we could fight them again. Yeah, the three minutes is done. And that's pretty much what I do. I, I try and plunder as much as possible. And I want to get high enough as, as possible so that people will actually attack me. So that we could do reverse attacks also. So yeah, it's pretty much a gold game or a uh, you know plunder rank game uh, for the most part. You want people to attack you. And uh, that way you could defend yourself also. In the very first day, it might be better to not have any Momos as defense. So that people are more likely to attack you. Um, because it's hard to get five reversal plunders on the first day. So it might be better to not defend at all. Uh, so yeah. There's a lot of people that re-roll against like... If they see someone that they can't beat, they re-roll. And I feel like that is a waste of money. Uh, if you do that, uh, like I stop doing it completely. Uh, I just fight whoever comes up. I don't care whether you win or lose. It doesn't really matter, especially on the first day, right? Uh, the only the only thing that matters is the final day, uh, the final two hours, most probably, or the final hour, uh, what your ranking will be. So just fight whoever comes up. Um, make sure that you do all your dailies. Uh, make also sure that you do your Momo Adventure. I always select this one because I'm just lazy. <laughs> but yeah, if you want to min-max this, uh, you want to you wanna go to the pool that has the least amount of players. So in this case, it's green, but it's only by six. So yeah, <laughs> it doesn't really matter that much. Um, but yeah, it's... I don't know, man. Momoverse is very profitable. Uh, sorry, Momoverse. Uh, Token Master is very profitable. Uh, it's just you need to have the Momos to, to actually participate. Uh, without the Momos, um, you won't be able to rank at all. So, I mean, 13 Mobox a week. That is pretty much next to nothing, if you think about it. I deleted it already. Um, not Battle Record. I want to go to Gold Rank and look at the previous season. So yeah, we got rank 97, 16 Mobox a week, if we can get this every week. That is not that bad. So um, this is more than enough to cover my block brawler, which happens every two weeks. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's pretty good, I would say. Right. And block brawler season end also, and I did receive 10 Mobox. I didn't make a video for that. I could just maybe show you guys in here. Uh, block Abrele. Uh, so yeah, I did. I did level up again. I did uh, stake my Momos again. I could just unstake this one. Uh, unstake. 
and stake it here. Because you do get a tiny tad more. Nothing too special. Uh, but yeah, so if I go to... Oh, I could claim my daily stuff. Let me do this. And my inventory is also full, it seems. My inventory full? Yes. So I'm going to just melt everything here. And equipped. Then I'll melt again. Ooh. Ooh. I don't really care. Like, I don't sell stuff, so... I'll, I'll just put on whatever. Anything that's free is free, you know? Um, and yeah, that's done. So, melting is done. Go to mining, make sure you claim your mining rewards. Almost eight hours, man. What am I doing? And uh, level up. And then we have some books, most probably. Yeah, I can't. Need, need a thousand five. Uh, but yeah, so let me just see here. If I go to mining, no. Battle. Uh, we have our mail here. And this all ended two days ago. I didn't make a video for that, but I'll just show you guys. Uh, so yeah, we reached rank 213 and we got 10 Mobox as reward here and 85 mech. So then we have Void Nether. We have four Mobox in rewards and 81 mech. Rank 222. And then we have the uh, 230 Mobox earned on normal Momo Sweep. And then 357 mech uh, for the high level sweep rewards. So yeah, the rewards is not that great to be honest. But I mean, I did get a ranking where I got roughly about 13 Mobox in... Um, as rewards for my ranking. So all I had to do was then go to talents and uh, spend it over here again. Just wanna make sure everything is done here. Yes. Uh, so I'll just do this. So just make sure that you min max as much as possible, uh, not just in one game, but like multiple ones. Uh, especially if you wanna try and stay in profit, it's very important that you do that. Um, So yeah, that, that's pretty much the ranking. Uh, there's nothing more to talk about, I think, within this video. Uh, I showed you Token Master and Block Blurler ranking. Um, I'm going to keep on doing this. Uh, what I also did is I bought a, another skill here. Uh, because I only use two different ones. One where I PvE with, and then one I PvP with. I, I, I don't think this is the best lineup that you can get for PvP. But... You know, I'm I'm using it regardless. I I feel like min maxing like you know talents. It really depends on who you face in 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 the first place and what a what abilities they have. Also, um, for example, this could be very strong versus mages, but terrible versus warriors. Uh, I'm just taking a rough guess here. So I'm just putting a blanket on everything and say this is PvP and this is PVE. Um, Sometimes I do switch to my PvP build in PvE, uh, but overall I don't think it matters too much. Um, so now I'm in my PvP build and I did win because I saw I got the 20, 20 books there. So um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> there's not really much to talk about uh, when it comes to Block Brother or Token Master because I made so many videos about it. Uh, if you want, want to learn more about these games, make sure that you check out the uh, playlist on my channel. Just, click, just go to my channel and click on playlist and you will eventually uh, see what I'm talking about. So yeah, that is uh, Token Master and Block Brother for you. And I really do hope that you did enjoy this video or at least found it useful. If you did, please make sure to leave a like. It does help the channel a lot. Subscribe if you are new. I'm looking forward to see you guys in the next one. Love you, take care. And as always... Remember to twist some nips. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>